Hey guys, welcome back. This is Carson Cloud. So in this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to enable desktop analytics. And first of all, I would like to explain what is desktop analytics. And the second step is we're going to enable it. And the third step, we're going to integrate desktop analytic with configuration manager. So what is desktop analytics? Desktop analytics is a cloud-based service that you can integrate with configuration manager. And it's provide insight about the update readiness of your Windows clients. It's give you information on Windows operating system versions, office applications, a lot of stuff available within desktop analytics that you can um, review to see if your environment is ready for an upgrade. All right, let's go into the next page. So when you integrate desktop analytics with configura configuration manager, it gives you an inventory of app running in your organizations. So you can see all the applications available that is currently support or report in configuration manager. Assess app compatibility with the latest Windows 10 features. So you can check to see if uh, or view what application will work on your next Windows 10 features. It's identify compatibility issues and receive mitigation suggestions based on cloud-enabled data insights. And it's also, it gives you way to create pilot group that represent the entire applications and drivers a state across minimal set of devices and give you an option to deploy Windows 10 to pilot and production managed devices. Those are features available. So what is the benefits of Windows um, desktop analytics? So it's device and software inventories. That's the major one. Pilot ident identifications, you identify the pilot groups. Issues identification to see if um, any issues with your current applications in your environment. And last but not least, it's integrate with configuration manager. Here's some technical prerequisites you need to be a desktop analytic administrator role and or you can be a logistic contributor and user access administrator on the resource group to existing workspace or create a next workspace in the existing resource group. So um, also you have to be an owner or contributor, have permissions on the subscription to create workspace in a new resource group. Those are just technical prerequisites for desktop analytics. So now let's jump into the demo. Oops, let's go back here. I forgot to see. I should have. Seen. This page needs to go away. I forgot to remove this page, so you can ignore this page. So to access desktop analytics, you can go to aka.ms slash desktop analytics. All right, now let's get started. There's two ways you can access desktop analytics. Either you go, you go directly to the, the URL, the KM. Oops, second here. Um, so you can access the desktop analytic from 
you can access from Azure Active Directory. And then you have to go into the dash portal portal.azure.com. You can type in desktop. Let's see, manage desktop. Well, actually, I'm going to the, um, the easiest way to get to it is um, let's go back here and you go into the desk endpoint management. And then you want to go to dashboard. Sorry, actually it's um, all services. And there is a desktop analytics. You want to click that. Or you can just go directly by typing in aka.ms forward slash desktop analytics ly analytics. Yep, so there's two ways you can get to it, but it takes you to the same locations. So let's get started setting up the desktop analytics in your tenant. First of all, by clicking start here, so it is accept the service agreement and clicks accept. Confirm your subscription. You need to verify that you have one of the following subscriptions. So you you need to have all these. I mean, not all these. One of them. Windows 10 E3. So yes, I do. And click next. So here you want to give you give user and apps access in order to access the desktop analytics user needs a desktop analytic administrator so you just have to turn this on yes and the user i'm going to add is cars and cloud and also i'm just going to add one users maybe add user one also, so I get two users have will have access to desktop analytics. I'm going to click next. All right, so I'm going to create an Azure subscriptions. I'm going to get a free subscription for now.
so I gotta do all this first. Um, I'm gonna pause the recording, then I will go through this step, and then I'll come, then I'll come back to the desktop analytics. You gotta, I, had, I need the um, Azure subscription first. Let me pause the video. All right, so I have completed set up the Azure service. Now I can go back to the desktop analytics and refresh the screen. And here it goes. I have an options to um, want to select. I'm going to add a workspace. And just give it a friendly name. Um, let's call this test call it test for now select the um, subscriptions I'm going to resource group create a new one call desktop analytic the workspace can only contain only letters, so no space. It's going to be US. So it already exists. Okay, um, let's give it another name. Let's give it a call. Tess Carson. There you go. That works. I'm going to click Add. All right, it's created. Now I'm going to check the box. Going to set as, sorry. I'm going to set as desktop analytics workspace. Continue. I have to log in. That's fine. It, it just give you. Um, you need to allow. That's all. Just permission request. I'm going to click accept. Here's instruction how to set it up. Also from the um, Microsoft website. Now it has been set up. Now I can click next. It is completed. Now I can go into desktop analytics. So as you can see here, it says we, st we are still processing your data. It can take up to 72 hours. So that's the process of setting up desktop analytics. And the next video, I'm going to set up the integration with the configuration manager. Thank you for watching. And if you like the video, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and have a wonderful day.